Uh, I'm at the GeForce Arcade Center. You know, it's after hours here at the mall, but GeForce is still rocking. And GeForce was also an underrated Disney movie. GeForce Entertainment, what I would consider a hidden gem within the area. After the mall closes, the party opens. GeForce puts together a good amount of live music from time to time. Hell, they even had Fetty Wap perform not too long ago. My buddy who was one of the members of the 207 Mafia, who was also opening for him that night, got a picture with him throwing axes. Kind of. This was his last live performance till he was arrested for death threats on Skype of all places. Now I understand why he was axe throwing. Funny enough, this picture also foreshadows how Fetty would end up. Behind bars. Anyway, I was impressed with the live music setup. One room for the rappers, and one room for the ones who liked rock and roll. Then there was me. My favorite part about this whole trip, besides going to Chick-fil-A, was seeing the guy in the kawaii outfit absolutely go bonkers on the guitar. I was really interested with some of these performers, so I decided to set up interviews with a few of them. I'm here with the 207 Mafia. We have... I'm Billy, a.k.a. JD. What's up? 207 Drake. Young Extendo. What was the feeling and the emotion when you had the opportunity to open for Fetty Wap? Dude, that shit, literally, it did not even register to me for, like, days afterward. Like, that shit was so crazy, bro. Especially, like, all the people that came out and, like, to support that shit, bro. It's... It's a feeling like that I've never felt and it's just amazing. I couldn't have put it better. It was like a win for Scout Hegan as much as it was for us, honestly. Put off of that set. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like Nardwar a little bit with yeah. the, the rappers. Like, yeah. I'm here with the 207 Mafia. I'm here with JD, uh, 207 Drake, and then there's Logan. 207 Drake, I once heard that you actually went with Michael Ferrari and he helped you produce your first song going to the producer? Ian Keys, Ian that's the Keys. man Shout right there. Keys, Michael hooked me up so heavy with that. Had no intro to music and he was like, yeah, my boy has like a $3,000 setup. So I was like, take me there, bro. Now that we're here. first song, Lipstick. bro. Lipstick. Yeah, yeah. Trade it for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give back to my element. Out of the three of you, who do you think has the best bars? The best bars? It's close, but I think JD's got the best bars. I ain't gonna lie to you. You're talk are you talking in third person? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> uh, me. <laughs> I love them, but just because I have a few of my favorite bars from him, gotta give it to JD. Hey. Got me a crown and it's made out of thorns. Crazy. He's gonna cut it up to make it look like it didn't. We just broke up. Fuck I'm him. doing 10 solos bop, tonight. Bop. What rapper would you sacrifice to have one brought back from the dead? King Vaughn and take uh, 207 Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the Island Boys, honestly. I like one song from them, but... <laughs> I would straight up beat Takashi 6 9 to death if I could get Juice World back. On dogs. On God, bro. Probably give up, like, Lil Pump, Smoke, per. There's too many to count, but probably for Pete. Who do you think is the most overrated rapper in the game? Yeet. Yeet. Yeet's definitely overrated. What the fuck overrated. is he even saying? I it's like a few <laughs> songs, but bro don't even speak English half the time, bro. He sounds like two robots having sex. It's gonna piss off a lot of people, but you're not new and up and coming. You're, you're not different, you're just weird, bro. It's mumble rap with more auto-tune. Yeah. Mumble rap with more mumble. What is the future for 207 Mafia? Hopefully, going on tour, getting features with hella artists, getting hella bread, just on the come up, bro. Yeah, I mean, obviously the goal is to go big. Nothing, anything less than that. I'm not really down with it, so we're going for album, maybe. Going for the long haul, most definitely. We ain't gonna stop anytime soon, so nothing's ending. Oh, no. Yeah, 207 Mafia on SoundCloud, we're on Spotify now. We're on YouTube, 207 Mafia, Demon Video just dropped. We're pumping videos out, we're gonna be at G-Force, we're trying to be all around Maine, everywhere, man. We're trying to get everywhere. And I'm here with the band. Hello, we're White Lighter. What's the reason behind the name White Lighter? If uh, you know anything about grunge music like uh, Nirvana, Jimi Hendrix, uh, multiple artists have uh, died with a white lighter. So we're trying to keep it uh, true to the nature with our music. Uh, we had somebody come up to um, one of these guys and he was like, a great way to 
uh, introduce themselves is to give these guys a white lighter. Yeah, as I like a like handed Xavier a white lighter, and he's like, "Here you go. You guys are from white. It was some real Nardwar shit." And <laughs> Nardwar. And then he came up because I was talking to the band later. I was like, "Yeah, I gave one of those guys a white lighter," and I'm like. I heard you guys like a white lighter, is that correct? <laughs> and today I am joined with the performer. Karemi. What is a fan base that you dislike the most? NBA young boy, bro. I don't like him that much. I, I'm gonna I'd get shit for that, but I don't think NBA Young Boy's really one of the better rappers. I don't like his fan base. What is a fan base that you dislike the most? Limp Biscuit. ICP man, every time I've seen like ICP like juggalos. They're always like crazy methods. It's like fucking like kill your girlfriend for a bump of coke, you know? They're crazy and they, they call themselves the insane clown whatever for a reason. They're all crazy. One time uh, I went to a 4th of July. Take the mic. One time I went to a 4th of July for another fan and this guy started like shooting up in the air and he's like, ah! What genre of music do you listen to that you hide from your friends? Uh, when I'm sad, I listen to uh, Walk Away as the Door Slams by Lil Peep, and that's my guilty pleasure. Emo shit, like Pierce the Veil. I can tell you this time I went to a Bruno Mars concert in TD Garden. I fuck, I I fuck with Bruno Mars. He knows how to do this stuff. I guess uh, what people don't expect me to listen to the most is ska punk. Ska music. Ska? Yeah. I like hyperpop. You ever heard of hyperpop? What is hyperpop? Hyperpop is like uh, a mix of like EDM and pop, but like it has that like it's a little more fast paced with like some glitchy shit. If you were rich, what expensive hobby would you take on? You know, I think I would join Zach Baggins and be like a professional paranormal investigator. I'm really into like ghost stuff. Just I'm just gonna keep adding to my drum set. Probably golf. That's like a country club. That's expensive. I would be so into uh, rebuilding old cars, like old muscle cars, old sports cars. Hell yeah. I do auction. I'd I'd be one of those motherfuckers who goes to auctions all the time and buys like random shit. Guys, listen. This is a big misunderstanding. I thought she said she was 13. And dog ears. <laughs> you know what? You don't know what real music is. He's in!